guys, I am out on the boat today with Victor. He's putting out the lines. It's a beautiful day out here. We're gonna do a little trolling. He's putting out the planers and some tuna feathers. And we're gonna do something a little different today. Normally when we come out here, we try to fill the cooler, but today the cooler is actually already filled. Victor decided he wanted to empty out his deep freezer and it has a bunch of carcasses of fish we've filleted and a bunch of old bait. What we're gonna do is we're gonna anchor up on a shallow reef and we're just gonna chomp. We're actually gonna get in the water and see what comes. And maybe we'll see some fish that we can spear. We brought our dive gear. It should be pretty interesting. I'm excited to see what comes. Hopefully we don't get any sharks to come and eat us. So stay tuned. We anchored up in 13 feet of water. We got some of our stuff out, thawing out. Now, a lot of this stuff is not waste. Like for instance, we have legs and antennas and bodies of lobsters. We have a head of an amberjack. And then we have a bunch of random carcasses and stuff in this bucket. We're gonna thaw out and throw it all in. And recently we had a hurricane and a bunch of this bait got defrosted and refrozen and defrosted and refrozen after the hurricane losing power and stuff. If you use bait that has been defrosted and refrozen, it gets really soft so it's hard to use. Nothing's being wasted and all the fish are gonna have a great time. So let's get started. These fish are Bermuda chubs. They have a bad reputation with anglers because they have a very small mouth, which makes them nibble at food and this makes them professional bait stealers. They are often regarded as a trash fish, but supposedly they eat well. I personally have yet to try one. Now these long fish with the pointy nose and the yellow tail are ballyhoo. They make excellent bait and we use them quite often. There are sharks here. Really? A big one? Now that Victor's been in the water for a while having his fun, it's time for me to jump in. So I threw in the majority of the stuff that I had chopped up so that I could jump in and see what's out there. Now these fast swimming torpedo shaped fish are what we call bonita, but they are little toonies or also called false albacores. They're the most common tuna in the Atlantic Ocean. They fight great as they can reach speeds up to 40 miles per hour. They're quite often used as shark bait because they have high oil content, but they're also used as bait for other types of fishing because they tend to stay on the hook quite well. They're considered by many to be a trash fish because of how bloody they are, and their taste is stronger than that of the other large tunas. The majority of these fish are gray snapper, also known as mangrove snapper, and there's also a few yellowtail snapper mixed in. The chum brought in many different species, including mangrove, yellowtail, and mutton snapper, pinfish, chubs, triggerfish, eels, mackerel, jack, sharks, and a bunch of different species too. These are gray angelfish, and they tend to be the most photogenic fish on the reef. This is a filefish. They have extremely small scales, which makes them feel like sandpaper, hence the name filefish. This is a spotted moray eel. They have powerful jaws and needle sharp teeth, which allows them to rip up their prey. Eels are often seen sitting with their mouths open. This is because they have to constantly open and close their mouths to maintain water flow through their gills so that they can breathe.
this is a nurse shark. I was honestly surprised he didn't hang out longer than he did, but he came in, ripped off a piece of this kingfish head, and left just about as fast as he came in. Besides this nurse shark, throughout the dive, Victor and I also saw a bull shark and a lemon shark. They kind of lurked and watched in the distance and never came very close to us. Being in the water and watching these fish eat, you can actually learn a lot about them. The snapper are by far the most cautious eaters and they don't get too close. The bonita are fast and eat first and ask questions later. The chubs, they have got to be the bravest fish, which I guess makes them the dumbest. I had them eating right out of my hands. Now Victor hopped in the boat to throw on some more chum and tried casting this little white jig. And here he actually hooked up to a bonita and I was actually in the water and got to see this thing eat it and actually see the real speed of these things. It was pretty crazy to be in the water and watch this thing eat and fight from in the water. Now this next fish Victor hooked on the white jig is an Almaco Jack. They look similar to the greater amber jack, but they have a much taller dorsal and anal fin that is also sickle shaped. Now the Almaco Jack doesn't have a size limit compared to that the amber jacks actually do have a size limit. Almaco Jacks actually have really white meat and they're actually very good to eat. This next fish is a yellowtail snapper. They have to be 12 inches overall to keep and they are excellent eating. This is a mangrove snapper and they have to be 10 inches to keep where we're fishing. And then you can only keep five per person out of your 10 snapper limit. At one point, Victor got his hook stuck on the reef and I was able to swim down and unhook it. That was pretty cool. This is a Spanish mackerel. They have extremely sharp teeth, and if you don't hook them right in the corner of the mouth, you'll most likely get cut off by this guy. So after Victor and I dove for a while, we got on the boat and decided to fish where we were. We put in a chum block, and we fished and we caught a bunch of quality sized snapper. And I ended up doing a catch and cook, so definitely stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming out soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you in that next video.